I love to create with natural items or rustic or vintage. My style is uh, more organic and less trendy. Tonight we're going to kind of do a duo to this. I realized today this was like a nightmare, but it ended up turning out really great. It was, there's actually decoupage paper under here. If you ever get a chance to see what not to do with uh, decoupage paper and crackling paste and stencils, this is the video to watch. <laughs> but I noticed, realized today that this is going to look awesome on the front of my shed. So I got two doors, big ones, 70 inch total. So I need one for the other side. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And I hope that you enjoy it. Maybe it inspires you. Uh, maybe all the things. I did bust out two stencils. So this is the one we made. Hey, Lorraine. And uh, you can actually see it was pinstripes. Kathy B, my sweet friend. Um, you can see the pinstripes in the back of the ticking where this was like a project gone wrong, seriously wrong. We, we like I said, we did, uh, we did manage to fix it and we ended up crackling it and it ended up coming out really good, but this was not the intended look. Hey, Colleen, enjoy. <laughs> so what not to do is a video for you. So I have another, um, hey Joy, I have another board, the same exact size. I forget where I get the, I got these. I, again, I've had them for quite some time. It's a pretty big board, pretty thick. Um, I brought, I busted out the general, but th I feel like this needs to go on a, on a rectangle. It's just, there's too much open space for the general store, but that's a good one. This is a JRV. Um, I like this. We're going to use this one. I got this one. Not actually, I got this one when I got the moustache one <laughs> and, uh, Fits. I mean, we got a little space here, but that's okay. It fits pretty good. It's vintage elixir, uh, you know, purified extract of wildflowers for health and beauty. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I think we're going to do the same thing. My shed is black. I put that up against a, it's glossy black, like super glossy, but it's like outdoor thick paint. Um, and this is pretty matte. It looks good on the door. So we're going to go, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go black and white and then um, because that was so crackled and aged, I brought the textured stamps, um, the IOD. You fixed your screen name. Hey, Kim. Let me see something here. All right, we want live chat. There we go. Um, hey, Kelly. Uh, thanks for being here. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Diana, I missed you. So I brought the vintage uh, set of crackle stamps, and then I also forgot that I have Mara with Vintage Retail Therapy. She has her own stencil line, you guys. How fancy is she? Hey, Gwendolyn and Summer. Who do you Summer, how are you, my friend? I wasn't sure if you are going to be home. Prayers for summer, speedy recovery. I hope everything went well and uh, all your worries are were gone. So uh, Mara has like, she's fancy. She's got her own stencil line. She has this one. Called, I got to save this stuff because I can never remember. Hey, Christina, you never watched a YouTube live before? Well, I'm glad I'm your first one. You're going to love it. You're going to love it here. Although the, 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 the comments go fast, but I figured out how to see them like for a second. So this one's called, <laughs> I, oh, here, oh, uh, it doesn't have a freaking name <laughs> uh crap uh jim my crafting buddy so it, it i cut mine in half but um i can't think and remember the name of it kim thanks for, oh if you guys could hit the um thumbs up button and share um wherever you can facebook if you got to that's cool what wherever wherever your parents i, I don't care just pretend we want everybody to think that like, this is the place to be uh sherry Sherry, it's not Wednesday. Are you trying to trick me, girl? Like, I know your tricks. I know. I know. I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm a bit sore, bro. bro. Okay, good. And that's normal. That's normal to be sore. So, um, anyways, I can't remember the stinking name of it. I don't carry it, but Mara does have it. But it, you can use this as honeycomb or chicken wire. And then this is the crackle. So, I'm not sure which one we're going to use. Um, but, yeah. So, that's my story. <laughs> that's my story. Y'all, thanks for being here. Sorry I'm late. So, I was on Facebook earlier and I was like, wow, I'm going to be on, um, where's the thumbs up? If you turn your phone to the side, you should get a bunch of stuff on the bottom, like options. You, and I should go smaller and you should be able to also see the live, um, uh, conversation. I think, I, I guess, I don't know. How do you get rid of comments? Oh, that I don't know. Kirsten. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I'm having, I want to see comments. So you're trying to get rid of them. Um, if I'm up and down, you shouldn't be able to see comments unless they come up. If you're sideways, I'm, I'm, thank you, Lorraine. I'm, I'm talking if you're on a phone. I don't think I've ever really watched from anywhere else. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I gotta find somewhere to put this. Where am I gonna put this? Er. Y'all, so I learned something. That, um, heavy body gel. Hit the right corner, Colleen says. Stand on your head works. Jim stands on his head to get rid of his comments. Y'all, that heavy body gel, the real thin, 
molds that I've been doing. Oh crap, I forgot to turn the air down. It's starting to get hot in here. Click on the X to get rid of it. Hey Lori, uh, don't fold it because it will not come apart. <laughs> Remember I was looking for it, it was on the floor and it's totally stuck. Like, so don't fold it over. Cause that's bad. <laughs> get stuck. <laughs> oh, I might have to go turn the air down, I forgot. So when I was ate dinner, then I started, um, I got this from Studio R12, by the way, Studio R12. It was like, buy two, get one free. Yeah, that's what it was. Because they're not cheap. They're okay, uh, grade, but click on X to like also. Oh, look at all this. Look at us all getting learning smart stuff here. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, that's cute, Jim. Um, all right, so let's paint this. Which side do we want to paint? So I went and had dinner, hung out with the hubs. Now, I'm afraid because I'm on the Starlink, I don't know, I don't dare, like, let him watch, not let him watch you, but have TV streaming, cause, well, Ro Roku streaming, and me go live at the same time. So, he was relaxing on the porch, uh, watching TV, and I started filling orders, and you don't have an X? <laughs> um, you should. It's, it's probably really faintly light white in the top, it would be your top left-hand corner. Um... Yeah. Uh, hey, Renee, thanks for coming on. I'm on your television. Oh, God. So uh, I started packing orders and then I couldn't stop. And he, he's normally in bed by 10, but he didn't go to bed till 1030. So here, here we are. I need to put something under this. What's, what's all this do? Just feel like it makes it. I should have got a roller. That would have made it easier to paint. That should work. That's not going to work. <laughs> That's not going to work. YouTube is pretty not new for me. I need to, yeah, we all do, Kelly. We're all in this together, sister. We're learning, <laughs> we're learning together. So far, I, I'm, it's kind of dreamy. It's kind of dreamy. Okay. Jeez, we got that, <laughs> got that set. I wish I would have thought of a roller because that would have made painting this a whole lot stinking easier, but I didn't, so here we are. I'm just trying to get situated. Can't get situated. Uh, hope me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you for sprinkling joy. Um, yeah, we had a uh, country fried steak, real mashed potatoes and skillet, uh, corn. Oh, my favorite, my favorite. All right. We're going to use carbon, uh, and wise owl. I just like it cause it's, it's not exactly black, but it's not exactly, I don't know. It's kind of like carbon. It's kind of like the color of carbon. Kind of has a gray hue to it. And it's kind of in a mat, in a, in a, in a sense, kind of matte. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, definitely not all black. Definitely not all black. Bam! Jim, bam. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, so we made uh, red, white, and blue on Facebook. I made the, a sign for the hubs. I think he's going to love it. I think we're going to go with the big boy. I'm going to miss this. Oh, sprinkle, like, anyways. Amy, oh, I've tried to get in the habit of hitting thumbs up as soon as you click on the video. I can't see the rest. Hold on. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, where'd they go? They all gone now. Oh, there we go. The thumbs down. Oh, <laughs> the thumbs down. Uh, M.A., hello. All right, I'm going to give us a miss because, I don't know, feels like the thing to do. Feels like the thing to do. I should probably pour this out because I'm going to end up with crackles all up in my stuff, but whatever. Yeah, I love this color. Love it. Um, you know what other colors like this? Uh, the I believe it's the Kills. Um, they sell it at Walmart. It's at um, Walmart's chalk. Is it Kills? I can't think now. Whatever, whatever quart size Walmart sells. Oh, we got crunkies in there already. Um, is this color? But I don't think it says carbon. It says something else. Um. Who the heck was that? <laughs> I gotta get used to these comments going by so fast. Uh, hey, Maureen, how you be? I had to go out, I hit the thumbs up and share. Yeah, I'm still learning that too. Oh, I'm still learning that too. Uh, I, I noticed when I was uh, the other night, I've been trying to every night, trying to pull it up before I go to bed. And I noticed if I turned my phone, I had a lot more options. It does look like chalkboard paint. Oh, thank you, Summer for sharing to your Facebook group. I appreciate that very much, my friend. I appreciate that. The more the merrier. YouTube's the place to be, y'all. YouTube's, <laughs> YouTube's the place to be. It's happening over here. Y'all just don't know it yet. Y'all just don't know it. Just don't know it. 
not spreading too beautifully, but this wood is like really sucking it up. The water seems to help a little bit. But this is going on my, my front door to match its twin over there. You know, I don't know if I use black or... I don't know what happened over there. You guys watch that mustache one, man. I really, really had a hard time with that when I was trying to do the crackle and that stencil on top of the ticking decoupage paper. Oh, crap. <laughs> trying to get used to YouTube. Yeah. It's definitely different. There's, it, there's, it's definitely different. However... Um, it's different in a good way because YouTube is a search engine. So literally anything and everything you could possibly want if, you know, it's all about if the person creating the video and posting the video put in the correct search words and did all the things, um, if you could find anything and be able to do anything and learn, excuse me, absolutely anything. So um, it's definitely a lot more work on my side of the house, um, but I think it's totally worth it. I think it's totally worth it. Uh, I'm still a pup. <laughs> oh, boy. So, happy Tuesday, almost into Wednesday. You guys didn't realize su this Sunday's Easter. Um, I called the DMV, and they said, oh, yeah, we're closed for Goodwill. I mean, not good Goodwill. <laughs> good Friday. Um, this Friday. And I was like, oh. I don't know. I always thought uh, I always thought Easter was in March. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it was in March for many years, and now all of a sudden it's in April. Or am I just making that up? I mean, I don't know. I could be making that up. I gotta paint the sides too, but I mean, yeah, better because we're gonna have to crackle, and if those aren't crackled, it's not gonna look right. <sighs> so there's that. There's that. Every Friday's a good Friday. You know what, Jim? You're right. It has been has been especially except when you're on call on a Friday <laughs> then it sucks but as soon as that's over then it's good again as soon as that's over it's good again all right all right that went on pretty stinking good eh but of course there's no such thing as one paint coat paint when I turn my phone to just oh crap can't see the rest uh so are you on iPhone or Android I think that probably matters too that probably matters <sighs> I got no breath to open that bag up. Let me, uh, oh, it'll probably help if I plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Oh, I shouldn't be singing. Oh, can I sing? Can I sing on here on YouTube? I can't sing. Ugh. When I turn my phone, you're just laying down. <laughs> I'm laying down. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is the first Sunday after the first full meeting. The first, what the heck? Are you, is it really? I never knew that. Oh, it is Kills Summer. Yeah, so Kills, that Walmart sells in the chalk, well, more than Walmart sells, but um, in the chalk style is this this color. Very close to it. Actually, I think, I think I like it a little bit better than this. It's a little more on the gray side. And then they have that white that's like a vintage or linen or something. Actually, I think I have a little bit of that left somewhere. Somewhere. I can't find the lamps, so... We did the lampshade, and um, I had thrifted those lamps. I, I can't find them. If they're, I might have gotten rid of them, or they're in a box in the cargo, which I need to, I need to get in there. I need to get in there and get the auction stuff out and organize my seasonal junk. Spread to more. Kelly, thank you so much. You're a, you're a doll. You're a doll. You're a doll. Oh. Yeah, so I couldn't stop filling orders. I get so excited when I see some of these orders. I just wish I had like a, I don't know, a person out there with a helicopter that I could say, hey, bring this to so-and-so. She's, she's, she needs this ASAP. And they'd fly it to you all and come back and get more. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Well, that tried pretty quick, eh? And all those um, blemishes, uh, our last live on YouTube, when I, I coded the lampshade with the DIY patina and it kind of looked blotty especially in the camera uh, it's all cleared up on an iPhone if you reduce the screen the description will pop up underneath and will be an option for live chat uh, hi R R Rihanna UK vlogs how are you my friend did you send my stamp out I did yesterday today it went out today it went out 
uh, you're on an iPhone. Okay, yeah, so um, whatever, minimize the screen and you should be able to see. Look at us all getting smart over here. <laughs> We're gonna leave this live smarter than we came in. Hard to believe, hard to believe we can get any smarter, y'all. I mean, uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate your time for sure, for sure. We're making a twin, uh, I don't know. We're just making something for my shed door. We made this monstrosity. It was a complete disaster. Oh, God. It was a complete disaster. However, we recovered. So I got two. I got a 70-inch door between the two. They're 70 inch. So we made this one. You can actually see the paper behind it. It's pretty funny. So this is the same size. And we're going to vintage up some sign for this elixir. And, uh... That's my story. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right. Let me uh, throw some on the sides because if if I'm going to use the paint and the stencil for the crackle part, um, thank you. Uh, I might as well do it now, even though that I hate painting the sides, but it's got to be it's got to be done, y'all. It's got to be done. You got these from the dollar twenty five store. Um, they're pretty good quality for. If you want to get rid of comments, click on the X in the upper right. Y'all, if you're looking for little storage doofickies like this, this is actually decent, like, decent thickness. It doesn't feel like it's going to crack, but way to go Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm on a doll. I just, a clueless. Oh, wait, what? You're not clueless. You're not clueless. Sometimes it's, it's fun to play clueless because then you can just be like, I don't know. I have no idea. I just work here. I don't know. I just work here. Right, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can, and it, so it's painless to watch. Ooh, can only go so fast. Can only go so fast. And I don't care about full coverage around this. Thank you, Rayana. Thank you, thank you. I hope you uh, become a friend with our us and hang out with us. I would love that. We hang out and you know do all the fun things. Do all the fun things, escape from reality, this nutty world we live in, just for a little bit and just have a good time with some friends and learn something maybe and inspire and, you know, all the things. I realize I'm rolling this wet paint. Glitter-free zone, yes, yes. Super for YouTube, it's easier to use. Plus, I always get, yes, Gwendolyn, girl. Woo, yeah, I don't like glitter. I mean, I'll look at it. But I just, I don't like to touch it. I don't like it to be near me. It just never, ah, uh, just don't, it's not my thing. Not my thing. But, I mean, it's pretty. But I just don't like to touch it. <laughs> I love the mustache. Wet. I do too. Excited. Oh, thank you, Shondell. Um, yeah, so I had this great idea where I used the Roy Cycle Ticking Decoupage Paper. I think it's called Neutral because it's like black and kind of tan. And um, I was going to crackle, well, I crackled the stencil. Well, what I should have done is the crackle paste, hey, Desiree, the crackle, so you have to put the crackle primer down first before the cracking paste, and it's sticky. Well, I should have just put the stencil down, and I should have just crackle, put the primer on. Um, oh, you watched my very first video. Oh, that's hilarious, Kim. Um, I should have put the stencil down and just use the primer on the stencil areas but I decided to prime the whole board that was a mistake do not do that because I went to put the stencil down just to see and it stuck like I think I only a little tiny piece of that big stencil caught because it really it stuck so bad I had to rip the paper and there was there was no getting around it so if I would have laid the whole thing down it would have ripped all the paper off so we ended up recovering by just painting over the decoupage paper. And you can actually see it in the light, in the camera, in the background, which kind of looks cool. Uh, you found the share. I knew you could do it. See how wicked smart you are now. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew you could do it. It's just different. You know, it's different. I know there's some people like, ah. Facebook's the best and I'm not leaving. And that's fine. I, you know what? To each their own. And I get it. I, I'm, I don't like change. I'm the first to tell you I don't like change. You know, Christina, I am not sure where I got these. I, I had three. I don't know where the third one is. I must have made something. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. So, you know, 
I do appreciate those of you that are, you know, coming outside of your comfort zone to at least try. I mean, at least try. That's all. At least try. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If it's not your thing, it's not. It's, I mean, it is what it is, right? But, uh, so I appreciate that. <laughs> I want to get my new, my new, uh, uh, what do you call it, thingies? Which uh, It'll probably wipe right off of here anyhow. All right. And I'm not going to worry about a second coat on that on the outside. But look, that covered pretty good. We just got a little bit, just a little bit to go here. So that wasn't too bad. I should probably go the, uh, this way. Yeah, let me do that. Let me spin this baby around. Because I don't want to be farting around with just painting this all night, you know? You catching what I'm throwing there? See how I spun that? <laughs> I was going this way. So now we're going to go this way. And we're going to trick the paint into thinking we got this. We got this. So I don't want to go too thick, but I guess I'm going to have to do the whole thing, but we don't have to be, I don't know if this is one of those paints where if you try to touch it up, um, thanks Rayana, where you try to touch it up, you can totally tell and you got to paint the whole thing. There are a few paints like that where no matter what, you just got to, it just doesn't match up for whatever reason. The pigments are, I don't know. I don't know. The pigments are piggity. Pig, <laughs> piggity. Oh, I had fun earlier. I mean, anxious to put the sign together. You kind of do like change with snow. Well, that's good. Oh, you, I appreciate that. Oh, that's very humbling. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, you know, I'd be a fool to keep all my eggs in one basket. And I said that from the very beginning. Um, and I was taking a chance, you know, quitting my job and having all my eggs in one basket because that was scary, like very scary. I mean, somebody could steal my page. Facebook could go away. I mean, and that's it. Game over. Start over. So it just, uh, it's, a, it's a level of comfort. It's rewarding because it was another big goal and accomplishment. So it's just a lot of things. It's a lot of things. Had I known YouTube was what it was, I certainly would have started there first. But I can't say that either because then I would have ne never met any of you. And we wouldn't be here anyway, so I can't say that either. So, that's my story. <laughs> that's my story. It's true, though. It is true. But you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. In last year, around probably like May, maybe somewhere around there, maybe even earlier, I was trying to do all the things. Look at the difference between dry and dark. It's pretty good. Um... I was trying to do all the things, but I was doing all the things half-assed, so I was just spinning my wheels. I wasn't getting anywhere. So um, that's when, you know, my, between my coaching group and whatever whatever else, it's basically like nail one thing, concentrate on one big thing and get comfortable with it where you can maintain it. And then, you know, but while maintaining everything else, um, you know, just one big thing at a time. And I never, I really started making some progress as soon as I made that change. And, uh, but that was hard to know what to do, you know, like, which one do you pick? What do you do? So here we are. Here we are. Keep on trucking. There's so much to do on social media. It's crazy. You could literally work in the entire day and still have stuff, <laughs> stuff left to do at the end of the day. It just doesn't end. Social media does not sleep. Nope, 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 nope. And there's 20 people lined up to uh, oh, take your place, if you'd like. Whew. That was a long stretch, y'all. Okay, that's good. Let's get this dry. <laughs> get our stencil on there. I think you're smart to be aware of the possibility. Yeah, you. Ne that's right, you never, it's a free platform. I mean, this one's free too, but I mean, I really, really don't think out of all the platforms youtube's going anywhere i mean when did you do so sandy i started my page okay even more backstory i had no clue that there was a community out there like i didn't know there was crafting groups i didn't know that i have another day this week it was horrible oh thank you sure <laughs> sorry um i had no idea like there was this thing i thought honest to god i thought I was going to create a page and I was going to make a couple inspirational videos. It, that was it. Like I had no idea. Um, I didn't know it could be a business. I didn't know any of this. And, uh, 
so I started the last December 30th oh thank you Shonda you're right you're right it's you gotta do it you gotta do it you gotta just do it <laughs> um, December 30th of two years ago so I don't know what that have been 2021 so I just had my page for two years and I couldn't go live well I could go live but it was all jacked up like my audio and video was off and it was getting all wonky and we had just rebuilt our back room and it was metal and we thought it was that and so I tried all these things ended up being my phone so I didn't do my really first live until February of that first month but in the meantime I was so anxious and so excited that I did some pre-recorded that looked like I was live y'all you know how hard it is to sit there and talk to yourself and then it took like two days to upload. Oh, it was a nightmare. But, um, yeah, I was scared to death. Scared to death. I still get scared. I still get nervous. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I feel like the more confident you are with your project, um, the better. I don't know. The, the more confident you, confident you are. But I'm not like, I would never, I would never in let myself do one of like those mystery boxes I would crumble I would just I'd crumble I crumble I can't I'm not that type of creative my brain does not work like that like I have a hard time I don't know uh, you know like yes um, you know a lot of times I know like I want this board black but then sometimes I don't know what I want after that where there's other people who have like 15 items they're like I we're going to glue this to this. Oh, they're not going to talk like that, but we're going to do this. So we're going to put this room in there and that there. And I'll be done in 35 minutes. I'm like, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that. All right, I think we're dry. All right. That was good. That wasn't bad at all. Okay. I like that lampshade the other night. It took forever to dry. Okay. So I don't know. That's why I have to think about things sometimes because I don't know. But that's just the creative I am. All right, we're gonna use. Ooh. Definitely could do mystery, but oh no, I wouldn't. I'd be so stressed. It wouldn't even be worth it. Wouldn't even be worth it. All right, we're gonna use this boy, big boy. This is from Studio Arc Twelve. Uh, their stencils aren't the cheapest. They're not the worst quality. Um. But I did only decide to get these. I'm with you on that. I don't think I could do mystery. <laughs> Some people do better under under um, pressure. Like Sheila. Whenever Sheila's projects are planned out, she screws them up royally. When she just kind of goes with it, she does great. And we're the complete opposite. Um, I was eyeballing these for a while because I wanted some... Um, I want to do my garbage can like I did the uh, bathroom cabinet. With the stencils and make it look old because our garbage can is pallet wood also um so as i have all these but they're they're a little expensive but for when i ended up getting them it was buy two get the third free um oh there we go oh i just touched the screen and it happened i'm impressed with the creators like that do mystery yeah I, I i can't do that i can't do that she she it I, she is a ninja i gave her that name like she just she talks and talks and then her craft's done i'm like I talk and talk and I just painted. Like, I don't understand how she does it. So anyways, that's why I got these. I mean, you can tell, like, this is a JRV stencil. And these are the same stencils that uh, Mara makes. The millimeters are a huge difference. Like, you see how thick thick and sturdy this one is? Where this one is kind of wavy. Like, there's a big difference. So the millimeters go, the, more, the thicker the millimeter, the more expensive your... Uh, sten your stencil is going to be um, and there's a few reasons like this mustache one um, you can see how many this one has some too but uh, even like these little areas right here when you go to clean them you have to be really careful because they'll bend and you know the next time you go to use them they're sticking straight up in the air so the quality matters when you go to clean it too and how well do they clean off there's one group that does mystery box on YouTube and they take a few days before you see what, oh, I got my candle here. Oh, smells so good. I got to light it before we started. Ooh, it smells good. It smells so good. All right. This is weird because 
this is rectangle and this is a round. So just do the best we can here. We're going to eyeball it because that's what I do. I use the old eyeball. Uh, thank you, Rihanna. All right, so let's see. We'll go by this and this. And we got to go up a little because it's... See, I think right there is good. See how this is bent already? I mean, that's just the way it came packaged. I am going to blue tape this down so I don't move it and shift. And we will, we will, um, we'll hit it with the crackle last. That way we'll see what, what it looks like when it's done and where and if it needs crackle. I already moved that. See, they're flimsy. I moved that already. Just let it fall. There we go. Okay, that's about all we can do. Maybe a little piece right there. So I gotta try to make it to the DMV tomorrow. <laughs> that ought to be an adventure, right? Oh, I can't wait. Get my new driver's license update or get a new driver's license updated with our new address. That ought to be an experience here in the little town. <laughs> I'm excited to see what that's about. All right, we need a plate. I don't think I have one. Oh, hot dog, I do have one. I have one. Um, so that ought to be good. And then what else? Tomorrow night at 7. Hold on. Plug your ears. I'm going to hammer our paint lid back on. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we have our first... Scrappy's master class uh, meetup. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna move this a little to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what we're doing. We're doing something. I don't know what gray I used on there, but I'm gonna use this. Um, it's just a chalk paint, kind of thick. Uh, it was really Eric Estrada that was following my Facebook. No, is that funny? No, it's so it said um, the last time I went to the DMV it was half the experience. I hope it's not. I hope, I hope not. You never know. Like our one in town, you're, you're, you're going to make an appointment. You're in and out. The last time we went in like two weeks ago to transfer the title over to my stepson, we just walked in the door and they called. I mean, she said, what are you here? Are you having an appointment? And I said my name and they called us. Um, did you sell it? No, not yet, Maureen. Not yet. So this is just like a thicker chalk paste. I was kind of thinking. Think about getting some chalk paste, but I, I better just use this. No, so what, um, two other homes that are, I mean, we're right there, like, with the square footage and um, the neighborhood, all of that, we're right there. And two sold, I don't know when they sold, but they closed. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on a plate. This stuff is pretty thick for a chalk, <laughs> it's chalk paint. Chalk paint. Um, Pentart. So... We went high, like we did put our price higher because I feel like it, it's better to start high and come down instead of be too low and then you don't want to jack it up. That looks terrible. So um, those two sold to our real estate lady was waiting. Um, I got two different sizes. I'll probably end up using both, but I think I'm going to start. Uh, I think I'm going to start with this one. Yeah, um, our real estate lady said let's see what those two clothes for because it says they sold but it doesn't tell you the price um so she said because i think i think the other one should have closed today see what those clothes for and then regroup on our price and lower it so that's what we're gonna do i like that idea um because we were in agreement like we all said it was a little bit high but let's let's just see um so i should be hearing from her anytime soon all right, so I'm not really going to worry about this terribly because, number one, it's for me. <laughs> number two, it's going outside. But the key to stenciling is 100% how much paint you have on your thingamabob. Now, they have these style, or, and I've had these since day one. These are Martha Stewart, believe it or not, but they're very good set. they very good <laughs> Um it come, I think it came with three or four different size brushes. One of them's decent size, but they're great. Um, if you're using a rough surface, I would 100% use this. Um, or 
well, it, this is a pretty smooth surface, but I don't, I'm not so much of a pouncer like. So you can also use the dabbers, daubers. Um, uh, yeah, exactly, Maureen. So I, I don't know. Plus, with the uh, the way things are with interest rates, and you know, we just got to get the right person to come along. So you're better off going over if you want no bleeding, which means breaking through your stencil here. You're better off going over the whole thing three or four times with light coats than trying to do one heavy coat because one heavy coat it's never going to work. So you want to kind of just load your brush and unload it, and um, ooh, I don't want to go outside the line there, um, and just. I know we sometimes we just want to get it done and you want you want so bad to put more paint on there but you're going to end up with a mess if you do that um and if this were for someone else i would i would be putting even less paint on here it just depends each stencil depends you know what you're doing but something rough you want to use a um definitely this style brush you can get those brushes at the dollar tree um I use them for my wax. They're okay, um, but I feel like these are the best. How many kids grow to you? How many? We uh, all our kids are grown. Our youngest just turned thirty, um, and then we have two grandkids, and the young, uh, the oldest is 12, 12 and ten, so or twelve and nine, or he'll be ten. Um, but I really hope somebody, like, we lived in our house for 23 years, and um, it's just a great neighborhood. There's actually, the schooling is awesome. There's actually two elementary schools side by side in walking distance, um, like a block behind us. And then the, um, the elementary, or the, the middle school is a, um, uh, not a magnet school, a, um, a magnet school, a, uh, Crap, I can't think of the name of it. Um, not Magnet. Uh, it's something fancy. It's something fancy. <laughs> uh, and the high school is also something fancy. I, it's lost my, it left my brain. I can't think of what you call it. It'll come to me. Um, the ER is right there. The grow, everything you need is right there. You can, they're really expanding the um, interstates and how to get on them. And it's literally now the way they have it, you can get because we were on the, um, a charter, not charter. It's, it's going to bug the crap out of me. All my kids went there. <laughs> um, and it turned into that type of school when my kids were there. So they got grandfathered in. Um, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Oh, crap, I missed it. But, um, so, I mean, to get, because we were on the, uh, the beach side. The school no, it's not a charter school. I can't. Oh, it's going to bug the crap out of me. It will, it'll come to me. And um, so now you could get to like Tampa or whatever. You can get right on the bridge within 10, maybe 15 minutes. So I just hope a family, you know, I hope a, a nice family can enjoy it like we did. Like I said, it's a nice, safe neighborhood. It's, um... It's not like deeded or, um, no, not monastery. <laughs> oh man, it's going to bug the crap out of me. Uh, maybe you could look it up. It's, um, Osceola, Osceola Middle School, Osceola, Magnet, did I say Magnet Pro? No, not, Osceola Middle School and High School. That's what the name of the schools are. Uh, so now I'm doing a swirly. You can do, I don't like to, I like to swirl. Sometimes you can't swirl because you're, you'll, maybe your stencil's too fancy and you can't swirl. Magnet. Is it a magnet? I don't think it's magnet. I don't think it's magnet. Maybe it is magnet, but this doesn't sound right to me. I can't, I don't know. Y'all, I can't remember anything. I swear to you. My brain really sucks. It just sucks. It doesn't work good. Stem? Hey, Christine. How are you? Stem? No, not stem. Not stem. School of choice. I don't know if they have that anymore. Remember they used to have that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's in Florida. The, the kids used to be able to um, pick whatever school they wanted because they felt like 
you know, the, um, the kids that lived on the south side, I, no, not IV program. The kids that la lived on the south side didn't have the opportunity to go to these other schools. Um, I think you have to be accepted to go in there now. You have to be accepted to go in there now. Um, I don't know. I can't think of a stinking thing. I really can't. Modest, no, no, not modest. Hey, Sonia. Not, no, not, no. <laughs> no, I can't think of it. I don't know. Maybe it is just magnet, but I don't think that's it. Fundamental. Woo, look at me remembering. Fundamental school. Holy crap. That was really irking the crap out of me. Fundamental. Oh, yes. Good grief. Fundamental. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a lot of rules, like even for the parents, which oh, I get so mad because I work night shift and you had to attend these stupid meetings once a month, right? You had to have like a car, you had to sign a card. Well, me and the neighbor lady were like, oh, you take my card, I'll sign it for you. You go this week, I'll, I'll go next, you know? We tried, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Never heard of it. Um, so then, uh, like I said, they made us go. Or our kids, if you, kids get so many points, they get kicked out or just, there's a lot to it. They have to have certain grades. They can, even like their clothing had to be decent or they'd get a point or whatever. So the parents would get points if they didn't go to these meetings. Well, it used to really make me mad because they had us go into these meetings. Now I'm missing work or I'm late for work for these stupid meetings. And then a couple of times the meeting was canceled. They didn't tell anybody. And then the meetings were like stupid uh, selling stuff. Yes, fundamental selling st crap. Like this has nothing to do with my kid. Like, you know, I'm missing my work. For this garbage, like, oh, I can understand being there for your kid, but no, it's called, uh, it's, it's fundamental. Fundamental is, is what it is. Fundamental school. Yeah. Lots of rules for parents and all this. Oh, I, I hated it. <laughs> I used to get so mad. I don't mind going, but don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. That, that used to, ugh, but whatever. They all made it. They all, they all graduated, so amen to that one. Amen to that one. All right, we're getting there, y'all. This is a big stencil. This is a big board. I didn't quite measure it, but I, it's big. Yeah, it's very structured. Very structured. But that's the other thing, too. As you're stenciling, you're also grabbing the paint off the sides, and you don't really realize that, but that's what you're doing as well, so... It's why sometimes it seems like, wow, like, why is the paint lasting so long on this brush and I didn't have to re-dip? Well, you're picking it up from the sides as well. So, fun, fun. Now, you could roll over this with a roller. However, again, you want to make sure it's pretty dry um, and just do it a couple of times instead of um, trying to get it all on there at one time. I'm not so concerned with bleeding, like I said, so it is what it is. There are some of my brush, my hairs are falling, <laughs> my hairs are falling off. If too, you notice you have too much stuff on your brush, go in an empty space, like a full space, you know, that's not near the edges to try to offload some of that paint. Um, if you feel like it's a little too much. But stenciling is very easy. This is one of my first loves. I just think it gives you instant results and, uh, I don't know. It's just a unique look. Just a new unique look. And now for, as far as cleaning these, acrylic paints come off, in my experience, acrylic paints come off the easiest. Um, chalk paints tend to be a little tougher, just probably because they're thicker. Um, but if you get it where it's really finicky and it doesn't want to come off, because usually I'll put it in, um, I'll put it in the sink with warm water and a toothbrush and um, just see what I can get off. But if you get it where it's just not coming off and you're ruining your stencil because you're trying to, you know, get it off, I put it like a, a piece of cardboard under it and then a, a row of paper towels and then I douse it with Windex and just let it sit there. Um, and that usually does the trick. You can leave it overnight if you want. Just make sure your Windex, like, put some towels on that are like 
damp so your Windex doesn't dry up. Um, and then throw it in the sink and it should come right off. Some people say awesome works really well. I gotta get these hairs out of this pile, <laughs> this pile we got here. Um, I haven't tried that with a stencil, so. And it doesn't seem to damage the stencil, so. The Windex anyways. I don't know about awesome. But I heard awesome is pretty awesome for lots of awesome things. Vinegar? Oh, I never heard of vinegar. I would imagine that would work too, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. That does make sense. That makes sense. I got so much stuff around the house I want to do. I, I just have so much I want to do. I, I just don't know what to do <laughs> sometimes. Like, I just don't know what to do. I got, I want to, I want to get the pressure washer out, but I don't know if you've ever pressure washered. Once that's, that starts, you can't stop. Next thing you know, you're pressure washing the neighbor's driveway for them. I well, not that my neighbor has a driveway here, but I'm just saying you just can't stop. I want to do the laundry shed. Um, the laundry shed and what was the other thing? Oh, my stairs up to uh, my shed and the stairs up to the back door so I can spray seal those. Because I don't think my shed's black and my porch is you know wood color but I need to seal it I need to do something so I think I'm just gonna seal it I don't really care for painted oh why all these hairs are coming out parents gave me a pressure washer for Christmas uh oh you wish you had my energy I'm just so lucky I'm just so happy to be alive like I <laughs> and feel good like I felt bad for so many years like I don't ever want to feel that way ever again that's why when somebody tells me they don't feel good or they're chronic pain and uh, it's true, right, Maureen? It's just, ah, oh, my heart breaks because it's such a dark place. It's such a dark place to be, and oh my god, I just don't want anybody there. It sucks. It just wears on your psyche, you know, just, it just sucks. That That's really the bottom line. It just sucks. So, I don't know. That is where my energy comes from. I'm thankful. I'm thankful to feel good again. Thankful to feel good again. That's probably gonna be a lot of paint where I just did that right there. Wow. Oh well, I don't care. Um, crap, I can't see. But yeah, whoa. But power washing is a it's a good time. So far, the cat has no interest in <laughs> seeing it. I'll tell you what, it is instant satisfaction. Like, it's not hard. You'll be out. I'm telling you, if you start doing it and you see what it does. You will be, literally be out there till dark when you can't see anymore. And you're like, oh man, I'm out of, I'm out of daylight. I want to keep going. It's just crazy. Crazy. The, uh, <laughs> what, what power washing can do. So that way I can get the stairs, both stairs and the, or the stairs and the porch ready for spray stain. Or not spray stain, sealer. And then I'm going to paint the, the laundry shed black because I've got five gallons of it. Thanks to the ding dong that sent it to me <laughs> just needed a little I didn't even need this much paint he sent me five gallons uh, but yeah, I wasn't sure I'd be alive two years ago so I'm, yes yes so you know what I mean I, I was there I was there with, with lots of uncertainty I didn't know what was wrong with me doctors were telling me I was nuts and am I seeing a psych I mean it just goes on and on and on and a person can only take so much you can only take so much it only takes so much where you just want to sleep. Just sleep. Just, not, just, just let me sleep. You have a lady who had a bug on her foot. Bug land on her foot. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Oh, I could see that happening. Some of those power washers, especially those, like, industrial size ones are... Yeah, I could see that happening. Oh, man. Ugh. But she don't use the pressure washer no more. Ugh. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Terrible story. But I could totally see how that would happen. Totally see how that could happen. Oh, oh I thought I could touch the screen. Hold on. Touch my screen. Hold on. Last time I touched the screen, I could see. Hey, Cindy, you're not late. I see these pressure washers. Oh, well. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. Um, so I want to get those two things done. We really need to get our living room. 
not really here and there. I've kind of shared things, but it's such a long, complicated story that it's just, it doesn't even really make sense unless you know the whole thing. But the one thing that was the huge factor in all of this was that our bedroom had black mold in it. And that was the turning point um, that we found out, like probably just in the nick of time. I'm not even exaggerating because I was really, I really, really thought I was going to die. Like I felt like I was going to die. Um, and I couldn't understand why I was so sick. I, and it, it, it affects everybody differently. Um, but yeah, that's in the crazy part. The, the crazy part that I found this out is um, I've always DVR'd. Just don't plan on watching my craft in the same day. That's true. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's true. They do vibrate. That is true. I always DVR'd everything because, you know, I come home from work and, you know, four or five in the morning and try to relax on the couch and unwind. So I would just, D I'd watch like one show and I'd DVR it so I could slip, you know, zip through the commercials. Well, this one night, um, I left it running. It was a commercial and I got up and I didn't pause it or zip through it. And I don't know what I was doing, but I was in the kitchen and I heard the TV. I swear, I swear to God, it was talking to me. Like it said every single thing that I had been through with doctors and how I felt and, you know, doctors thinking I'm cuckoo bananas and, you know, just all of this, it was speaking to me. I, I literally dropped like dead in my tracks like what like I had to listen to it five six times well it ended up being a commercial for um a natural doctor um I don't know what he called himself or called their I don't know what they called their office but it was all natural of course insurance does not pay stuff like that um so I talked oh god that's gonna be it. I talked to my husband about it and he's like go let's do it let's go and um or i showed him the commercial i i can't even remember but anyways i set up an appointment and um they spent probably three hours with me ran some tests while i was there um some urine tests some others just a couple things went through my whole history i mean i had a stack i used to carry because you have to become your own advocate because doctors don't care you know they don't give a shit about you like if you don't have the the cold where we can just write you a prescription for some antibiotic that, you know, they don't want nothing to, they don't want nothing hard. So you have to become your own advocate. So I knew, I knew every test that I had. I knew every result. Like I knew everything and I had documentation because damn, you are not sending me for another test. You know, they want to give you, you know, three or four of the same test. No, here's the results. So like I said, I became my own advocate and, uh, he said, I remember him clearly saying, do you have black mold in your house? And I was like, no, are you crazy? No, of course I don't. He's like, okay, so whatever. I think within that week, you know, this is resonating with me now. My tests come back that I do indeed have um, these high toxins in my body that would come from some type of form of mold, whether it was breathing it in. Oh. It said reconnect. Are you guys still with me? Um, so, uh, anyways, we started really investigating and um, we had mold tests. We did mold tests. Oh, that's what we did. We bought mold tests. And of course, it's also confusing. It's not in black and white. You know, none of it, none of it just says, yes, you have mold in your house and this is what it is. It's so much more than <laughs> to it. Um, so test after test, you do the test before you start ripping out the walls. Well, everything came back very high in those were in that room, um, nowhere else. And then that's when we started ripping down walls and whatever else. And we didn't, do, now we didn't have, um, there's, everybody knows black mold. Like they know that's, um, oh, I'm gonna go to this habit. um, it, it was, there's black mold is the worst but there's a lot of other toxic ones that are just as bad um so we didn't have the stock stocky botrys i don't know if i'm saying that right um we didn't have that but we had a bunch of high levels of other types 
And um, uh, so yeah, so we ended up ripping that entire back room down and redoing it. Um, it was like, it was like an aluminum, it was an aluminum addition that they, the house was built in 1960 and the addition was built in 61. So it was like um, aluminum, but insulated. And then it was cut in half. So it was the whole length of the house. It was like 44 feet long and then like 10 feet deep or wide. And um, one half was our bedroom and the other half was a lot of different things over the years. So anyways, when we started to, um, we tore all that down and rebuilt, we did one side a screened porch and um, which is like a, a lot of it. You're just gonna run in the house, my daughter was really sick. Yeah, Ruth, yes, yes. It's, it's scary stuff and I mean, it can travel with you and spores. There is so much to it and it is so confusing. It's very overwhelming and very confusing. Um, I'm sorry this is taking longer than I uh, anticipated here, but there's not much I can do. I'm going as fast as I can. Um, so we, uh, we rebuilt and right when we were about to finish, um, so right when we were about to finish, that is when I think we started in November, COVID hit, um, COVID hit and we were almost finished. We had like another two days worth of stuff. And that's when we were like one of the only ones left at our work because we work night shift, but we were like the only ones left that were actually coming into the building where others were, you know, working from home already. And uh, we got sent home. And then that back room, ironically, ended up becoming where I worked, which also was my, we turned into a craft room. So all of this wasn't that long ago um, that this happened. So, but the minute I removed myself from that back room, things changed, like big time changed physically for me. But everything that happened while I was in that room and it was just crazy. Oh, I got it on the black. <laughs> That's all right, I'll touch it up. Um, just crazy. Like anything and everything that could go wrong just did. I mean, my shoulders and lady stuff and it was just a freaking mess, just a mess, just a mess. Oh, it's just terrible. So I'm back on track and it affected me mostly with my gut, um, which, you know, I would think I was always under the impression, you know, mold, you can't breathe, you know, you got sinus problem, you got this and that, but it's so much more and everybody is so different. And it, it it's basically, if you go through a stressful time in your life, uh, I was that, I know that commercial saved my, that commercial saved my life. Honest to God, that commercial saved my life. It did. It really did. And I, I remember crying in that doctor's office because it was the first time, the first time in a really long time that a doctor listened to me, like really listened to me. And you know, I'm not making this up. Why would I make this up? You really think I want to spend thousands of dollars and thousands of hours waiting around at doctor's office? Like, what are you out of your mind? Uh, you, I bet your daughter can find it easy now. Yeah, it's, it's not something you ever forget. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I remember so clearly, so clearly just finally having some hope, you know what I mean? Cause I felt like all that time, you, you know, Oh, I'm going to go to a new doctor. You feel hopeful. And then you leave there in tears because they're, you know, want to know if you're, what your psychiatrist thinks. Oh, oh, bedside manner is terrible. Uh, I am back and better. And I mean, I still, you know, I still have stuff that going on like I lost all my muscle mass I lost I was down to 90 pounds that's when I thought I was gonna die when I was that low of a weight I mean I've never been a, a a large person anyways but 90 pounds is sickly like I look sick because I'm always like 120 you know between 120 and 135 but it just everything just stopped I had the such awful pains um I couldn't eat I couldn't I was I must have drank I think uh, uh, what's that stuff? Not PD sure. Uh, um, boost. I think boost kept me alive for 
a good year and a half. I couldn't, I couldn't digest anything. It, it was just in the pains that I had. I'd always have to be sitting on a heating pad and, oh, it was just horrible. It's like everything locked up. And the poor people I worked with, you know, just, I don't know. It just, it just totally sucked. It was not, not a good time. So, I know, Kelly. It's just like crazy, crazy. You just don't know. But the doctors and their bedside manners, man, some of them you want to just deck them, you know, like, like, seriously, like, why would I, why would I make this up? I mean, I'm sure there's hyper, <laughs> I'm sure there's hypochondriacs out there, but look, I got a, a book that shows you, like, I'm not, I'm not joking here. You know, I'm not, I'm not here for funsies. Yo, this is like taking me a really long time. And I think I'm losing all my hair out of my brush. That was another thing. Lost a bunch of hair. Like, it's just everything. Everything. There's so many people sick that with mold being hidden, you don't even know it. You don't even know it. Silent killer. Silent killer. So, it's no joke. No joke. God, good night, Kim. I hope you have an amazing... Yeah, this is taking me much longer than I ever anticipated. I hope you have an amazing night. Thanks for being here. And we're almost there now. I'm just trying to fill in the... I thought we were there, but then it dried and you can see through it. Yeah. So, here we are. My poor husband. He doesn't handle stuff like that very well. He don't know what to... If you don't know what to do, he doesn't, you know... He just kind of shuts down. He doesn't know... He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do, poor guy. Uh, thank you, Shondell. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I think those doctors, but let me tell you, it depleted our savings. It depleted our savings, so thank God, because it was very expensive. But, I mean, you can't put a price on your life either, but... Actually, the doctor apologized for the last time. Oh, well, Christine, wow, that's like, that never happens. Wow, that never happens. Wow, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, yeah, thank you, Maureen. So now, like, when I'm down, I'm, like, terrified. You know, I don't want to be down. Like, I don't, don't, don't put me down. And people are giving you crap about your hair. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thankful and grateful. And I never want to not, I don't want to ever forget how I feel right now. You know what I mean? I don't want to take anything for granted. Because life is short. And when you can't live the life you want to live, you know, it sucks. And when your health holds you back, it's just, it's depressing. I probably should not do this, what I'm doing right here, but here we go. <laughs> here we go, we're doing it. Okay, I think we're going to call this good enough. <laughs> we're going to call this good enough. Good Lord, that took forever. That is a big stencil, but I did not think it was going to take that long. Cheapers, thanks for hanging in there. All right, I got paint like where I shouldn't have it, but that's okay. All right, it's all right. That's only really over here. Oh, you're welcome, Joy. There's so much. There's so much more to this story. Like it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy how it all happened, and then it's crazy how it all got better. It's just, uh, it just, I'm a mess. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. I love it. You guys want to clean this for me? Because I don't wanna. Oh, I got a piece of cardboard. Oh, I can't use that cardboard. What am I gonna do? Should have brought something. I know. I got this envelope. I'll lay it on. Get that bad boy clean later. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty. Oh. I could write a book. I totally could write a book. I could. I could write a book about doctors being complete jerks. <laughs> complete jerks. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I went in my car and cried. Just because, you know, like I said, when you make a doctor's appointment, you know, you're lucky if it's two months down the road. 
Well, you know, Kelly, I think it made me who I am, and I, I truly believe that's why I'm right here today, like in this position, and Scrappy's was born and all of that, because that was another big part of, you know, my effort attitude that I'm doing for me. You know, I've done raised all these kids, I've done all this other crap for everybody else, and now it's my turn, so I really do believe that it led me right here, so... I don't know. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yes, doctors have no bedside manners anymore. And if you find a good one, you better hang on to them because they are very far and in between. You know, I'm really sick of stenciling. Um, and that's what this is. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> but it would be perfect because it is uh, crackle. But I don't feel like doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh yeah I'm going to burr, 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 brayer. I'm gonna roll out the brayer this should be fairly quick said no one ever this is another good reason to have some extra acetate or the stuff that comes on your stamp um oh i cleaned out my i organized my drawers yesterday yeah, I organized my drawers yesterday um yeah that's this is a great this one's great this is the one from mara so the one is honeycomb or chicken wire and then the other one's stencil so this is a great one i can't remember what the name of it is mara has it on her site i don't carry that one um all right so i'm gonna, I'm going to use my brayer and I'm going to use our stamp. We're going to use paint and I'm just going to put a little, because this looks too pretty, especially next, I mean, too perfect next to this guy. So can you guys, can you see the, uh, the ticking paper? Uh, chapter two, Dr. Spring. Yeah, it's crazy. See the ticking? I think it actually looks cool, but we got a lot of crackle and stuff going on in this one. And this one's just like perfect. So they're gonna be side by side. So we gotta we gotta dirty this one up a little. So we're just gonna put some crackles on there. Or distressing, how whatever you want to call it. What time is it? My Starlink goes a little wonky at like twelve quarter after twelve. Kind of me right now. No one can tell me why I stay dizzy all the time. I just watch this work. See that oh, I hate to hear that. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. They're quick to write you a script or send you somewhere else. Um, wow. Wow. Thank you, Shondell. Um, do we want something like that? This is too fine to use. This crackle is too fine to use. We could use a little bit. I think we're going to go with this one. This one's a little busy. A little too much. This is chippy. We're not looking for chippy. Uh, 12, 20. Oh, Okay, well, if we disconnect, that's why. Usually, I'm usually, well, maybe it's not 12. I don't know. I think it, around 12, 15, it usually, I could be wrong. It kind of resets. So I'm just going to put some paint on here, <laughs> like so. Now, if you do this on your stamps, you should have a thing of water, which I don't. But get this paint off of your stamps as soon as you can. It'll come off, but you'll have to scrub it. And you don't want it drying on your, your stamps because then you'll be mad when you gotta, you know, you gotta scrub it off. So you can use a Mod Podge brayer. You can do whatever. I mean, whatever you got. If you didn't, well, I don't know what you do if you don't have a brayer, to be honest with you. All right, so I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna bap bap this here and there and not reload it. Um, so I'm just gonna roll over it. Not trying to go heavy. Or perfect because I don't want full coverage so I just got a little bit of paint on there so let me just go yeah I'm not gonna reload it and I'm not going like in any particular I'm not even hitting it hard see it just gives it a little no noon. See how new it is? Not so new. 
just to give it a little oldness. And if there's any open areas, we can just come back and fill them in at the end. Just a down and dirty quick way to get some texture interest on there. Down and dirty. <laughs> down and dirty track craft in here, y'all. You can bap bap in some spots and not touch it in the other so it just lightly hugs it. You know, because normally we're trying to get a perfect image and we're rubbing all on it kind of hard. We don't want that. But this one I will because we're almost out of ink. Or not ink, but paint. I might use a little bit of that crack hell. Crack hell. I don't know if you say crack or crack hell. Oh, sounds stupid, whatever I'm saying. But. I might use a little bit of this to fill in our little, little holes, little holes. Okay. Where's the easy button? Whoa. Whoa, girl, whoa. All right, one more. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call that good. So let me throw a, a wet wipe over this. Or actually, I'm gonna get most of this off because I don't wanna be mad. I don't want to dry on there and be mad. I don't, I don't. Because I'll be mad. You can also take this to your sink warm water not hot water uh, is these stamps are great I mean the stencil is great too but that uh, I'm done I'm done stenciling right now <laughs> I'm done stenciling Ugh. yeah I'm gonna come back in the middle with uh, this other stamp that uh, is that uh, is doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just gonna leave this like so <sighs> like so and I'm gonna do this one Yes, purse that oh, this is drying up. Our paint is drying up. I do want the corners because that's probably what I'm going to be bap bapping mostly. Bap bapping. You know, I like the bap bap. It'd be easier to bap bap the edges than, and ooh, than anything. I got paint where I don't need it or where it shouldn't be. It actually is in the middle, believe it or not. I'll have to hold it up. Now, this is so subtle. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see. Um, but it's just going to fill in some of this empty area. It's actually probably pretty good. I mean, you could go round and round and round with this. Where you stop, nobody knows. Where you stop, nobody knows. Whoa! How many times am I going to do that before I fix it? A couple more. I think my paint's drying. I think my paint's drying. Well, I think we're good. Yeah, you got to work kind of fast with this, I guess. All right, one more. Whoa. This is fun. This is fun. Whoa. Oh, all right. I'm going to call that freaking beautiful, beautiful. I will seal this. No, like, not like a seal, but a seal. I will seal it. I will hammer down a uh, claw, a claw, a, a, what do you call it? A sawtooth claw. No, a sawtooth hanger, not a claw. <laughs> oh, where did you say this is going to go? It is, we have the stamp Maureen on our website. It's vintage textures, vintage textures. It's gonna go on my door. So I have the two doors that equal 70 inches total. <sighs> Cause I had that one, I was trying to put some of the stuff away for or organized for auction. And I saw this, 
I saw the mustache, uh, something just floating by. And I was like, well, I wonder what that looked like on my door. And I really liked it. So I thought, I need to make another one for the other door. So here we are. But see what that stamp did? It just kind of, you can see both stamps really good right there. Both styles. But that was just, that was super quick. We would have just been stenciling away with the other. Even though, like I said, stencil is great. But I think these look great beside one another. Um, I can't really see, but you, know, you get what I'm throwing. I got to seal this one so it'll give it a little bit of sheen like this one matte. But, um, oh, you know what I might do? I'm not going to do it right now, but I think I'll take a little crack black. Crack black. I'm going to take some crack black. You don't know what crack black is, do you? <laughs> hey, Sue. Uh, yes, I'm going to take crackle and do the uh, the gray. That's what's missing because it feels like it's the gray so <laughs> in your face. So, uh Actually, I'm going to do that. Well, that's wet. I'm going to clean this. I'm going to take black ink on here and just hit it here and there in the gray areas because the gray is too perfect. I knew something was off, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. Now I know. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So I don't know if I will be live live on Facebook or YouTube tomorrow because tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern is our very first night for our... Uh, oh, look, I shook my camera. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Um, for our Scrappy's Master Class, Master Crew, Cra Scrappy's Master Crew. Did I stencil on the other one? Oh, that was a nightmare. That other one was a nightmare. You can There's, there's a video out there. Check it out. What not to do with Crackle, Cracking Paste by Pentart and Decoupage Paper. What not to do. <laughs> it was a disaster. Yes, it was a stencil from S... Uh, Whoever said this one was from our, uh, uh, our 12 studio, our 12 studio. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll be, you never know when I'm going to show up, but, um, we will be live at 7 PM for our first class at 7 PM Eastern inside Scrappy's master crew group, Facebook page. <sighs> Let's see if we can get a group page on here. I don't know if that's an option. Um, I know I can't either. I can't either, but thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing night. I hope you sleep well and I hope you feel like when you wake up, you feel like a million bucks, maybe even two million bucks, whatever you fancy. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.